We're joined exclusively now by Brandon Shea, Shea, who wrestled the gun away from the shooter at the second dance hall. You saw in Juju's piece the video, the surveillance video of him doing that. Brandon, first and foremost, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well this morning. Thank you for asking. Well, I know, I know I don't know. I, no one can imagine what it must have been like to confront the gunman as you did. Just can you, in your own words, just tell us what you did, how you did it, and just what was going through your mind as this was going on? Well, it was Chinese New Year's. We were hosting a social dance party. Uh, I was in the lobby. Uh, it was late into the evening. Most of our customers already left. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the front door. I was looking into the dance ballroom, the dance floor, and uh, this is when I heard the sound of the front door creaking closing, and instantly followed by the sound of a metal object clinking together as if they were rubbing. That's when I turned around and saw that there was an Asian man holding a gun. My first thoughts was and did you I was gonna die here. This was it. Did you but recognize him at then, all? No, I did not recognize him. This was somebody I have never seen before. It, he didn't seem like he was here for any money. He wasn't here to rob us. When he was uh, looking around the room, it seemed like he was looking for targets, people to harm. Um, and how did this you is go when he started prepping his the weapon. Gun, and wrestling the gun away from him. This is start, excuse me, this is when he started uh, prepping the weapon and something came over me. I, I realized I needed to get the weapon away from him. I needed to take this weapon, disarm him, or else everybody would have died. Um, so when, when I got the courage, I, I lunged at him with both my hands, grabbed the weapon, and we had a struggle. We struggled into the lobby, trying to get this gun away from each other. He was hitting me across the face, bashing the back of my head. I, I, I was trying to use my elbows to separate the gun away from him, creating some distance. Finally, at one point, I was able to pull the gun away from him, shove him aside, create some distance, point the gun at him, intimidate him, shot him and say, get the hell out of here. I'll shoot. Get away. Go. And at this point, I thought he would run away, but he, he was just standing there contemplating whether to fight or to run away. I really thought I would have to shoot him if he came at me. This is when he turned around and walked out the door, jogged back to his van. I immediately called police with the gun still in my hand. And how are you this morning? You said that you, you were hit, your, your injuries, I mean, emotionally and physically, as much emotionally as physically, how are you dealing with this, what you went through, Brandon? After the incident, I was, I was shook. I was shaking, I was shaking all night. I, I, I couldn't believe what happened. After waking up, I, I noticed there was bruising all over my body. It's, my face has a uh, bruise across the nose and the back of my head has some bruising. I, I can't believe that this could happen. You heard the sheriff and other law officials and everyday people calling you a hero. What does that mean when you hear that, yes. Brandon? Well, a lot of people have been telling me how much courage I had to confront a situation like this. But you know what courage is? Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the ability to have adversity to fear when fear, fearful events happen, such as this. And in crises like this, the people need courage, especially the victims, their friends, their families. My heart goes out to everybody involved, especially the people in Stardance Studio. 
and Monterey Park. I hope they could find the courage and the strength to persevere. That is so well said for you to, to feel that way. And I know it was very important for you to get that message out to those here at Monterey Park. Brandon, say thank you. Thank you for the courage that you displayed. A lesson for us all. And please, please do take care, okay? I will.